In T.W. Tozer's book, The Size of the Soul, he asks the question, what about revival? How can Christians believe for more to experience a time of radical spiritual renaissance? And he lists some ways for that to happen. The number one thing that he says in his list is that we need to get thoroughly dissatisfied with ourselves. That complacency is the deadly enemy of spiritual progression. I think that when we press and pray and seek God and press and pray and seek God and don't necessarily see the change that we're desiring, then if we're not careful, there's a, 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 a contentment that sits down over us. You know, maybe, maybe I've stopped believing that God wants to do or is going to do abundantly more than I could imagine. Scripture says that the outward man is deteriorating daily, but the inward man is being renewed day by day. But maybe I get to the place where as I wait and as I wait and as I wait, that renewing begins to slow down, begins to not, I don't press in to the things of God. I'm tired of waiting. And so I kind of sit back and adopt a attitude of, uh, I mean, if he wants to do something awesome in me, then I'm waiting. It's, it's, it's his move. And I sit back and wait. Instead of what Paul said, Paul said, I press on. I press on toward the mark. I press on to do the things of having a relationship with God, of staying in tight, of putting myself in a posture to receive from him, I put myself in a, in a relaxed, non-aggressive, I don't know what he wants to do. Obviously, it's lacking faith. But Paul tells us to press on so that we might obtain the calling that he has for us. I love what he says to Timothy. He said, stir up the gift, Timothy, which is in you. And that's my encouragement to you. Stir up the gift. Oh God, stir up the gift in me. Help me to have a holy discontent with where I am, with where I see the church, that God, I might be one who presses deeper into you as opposed to sitting back. Be blessed.